So CT DNA or circulating tumor DNA specifically is an assessment of what, as the term implies, measuring actually tumor DNA located in the peripheral bloodstream of patients. And this is important because our current technology, including CT scans, colonoscopy, can only find what our naked eye has trained us to see. These are microscopic DNA particles of the tumor itself. So it allows us a new dimension of, of monitoring um, the degree of tumor burden in, in a patient. And that's where the concept of minimal residual disease arises from. This, this CT DNA analysis allows us to look at such a, a microscopic level that you're having a better idea of if there is leftover or minimal residual cancer after specific treatments in this cancer type. Signatera is a test that has been developed for testing of CT DNA in a variety of, of solid tumors. However, it seems that most of the evidence um, in support of Signatera have been in GI or gastrointestinal cancers, specifically colorectal cancer. What it entails is that it is a tumor to blood type of tailored test in which you are asked, actually testing the mutations in the tumor tissue of the colorectal cancer, uh, patient with colorectal cancer. And this is then tailored to look for these specific mutations where they are ranked in the most frequent and highest order. So the expanded access program is a very important program that's being offered during the COVID-19 pandemic. As you all may know, due to concerns for visits to medical facilities, hospitals, where there may be exposure risks to, to COVID in general, as well as concerns about pursuing or resuming chemotherapy for the concern of immunosuppression during the COVID pandemic, the expanded access program really allows providers and patients flexibility in, in maintaining their degree of surveillance during this pandemic. For example, it's very accessible, allows patients uh, to have blood draws for these CT DNA assays actually at their doorsteps. Um, Signatera offers you know, a travel to the patient's home for, for collection of these tests. As a provider, it allows us easy access through online portals to, to, to order uh, and access these test results. Um, and lastly, you know, a lot of these tests are being covered by, by Signatera or Natera, the, the operating company themselves under their compassionate use program. Surveillance is incredibly important at all stages, uh, regardless if, if we are in a pandemic or not. Um, it just, it, it currently is difficult because of patient concerns for exposure risk to COVID, um, whether they need unnecessary, uh, whether they need procedures that can be either delayed or postponed. But at the, at the end of the day, these are all part of cancer surveillance, which is absolutely important to, to detect recurrences to reassure patients that they are still cancer free after extensive surgeries and often chemotherapy treatment for colorectal cancer, for example. And in this recent era, there has also been a lot of recent PR on younger adults developing colorectal cancer. And as we still try to put a handle on why there is an early onset of colorectal cancer cases throughout the country and even the world. It brings to light the importance of surveillance that we shouldn't be putting our health um, secondary to, to, to COVID concerns because number one, we are all prepared and we have all arranged you know, in a way our, our medical facilities or practice patterns to accommodate for COVID-19 uh, and, and, and concerns for COVID-19 as much as possible. We are doing telehealth visits, for example, uh, delaying procedures that can be delayed. 
However, ultimately, you cannot go an extended period of time without surveillance um, or, you know, pursuing chemotherapy if it's absolutely necessary. And in this instance, you know, it is, it is absolutely important uh, that we have tools that can help us during the COVID pandemic uh, to, to help us uh, survey these patients, whether it is CT DNA um, or other assays of this nature, they are a helping hand during this difficult time. And if they can at least provide us some surrogate measures of, of reassurance that patients are fine with respect to their cancer, then these tests are important and they should be considered during the pandemic. Multiple cases over in the past year of actually young adults, um, and there is a growing incidence of, of early onset, young onset colorectal cancer. These individuals had symptoms that were worrisome for colorectal cancer. However, because of the current pandemic, they were having difficulty in getting the procedures arranged to, to detect whether they had colorectal cancer or not. And so in this instance, a, a surrogate test for these, for, for detection of, of colorectal cancer could be of great importance. Tests such as Signoterra, uh, which is a, a peripheral blood test could often be very informative in helping to, to survey patients. Um, and if they can be pioneered, there are other ctDNA tests that are now being developed for screening as well, in addition to just surveillance. These assays, I think, would be a very important measure during the current pandemic um, and would hopefully minimize these, these cases that we've seen recently in, in delays due to the current pandemic. As, as the current year in 2020 has been very difficult for all of us, I wanted to express that we are here doing this together. Um, we need to support each other, um, you know, with our families, with our colleagues, our friends, wherever they may be, you know, we ensure health and safety for everyone. But I just wanna let you know that, that your health, your individual health, um, yes, we do what we can to shelter in place, socially distance, um, practice safe hygiene, but there are certain standards, there are certain aspects of your own health care that you should not forego during the pandemic. And, uh, and if you are having symptoms, please do not wait. Please do not be concerned. We are doing our best to practice safe hygiene, uh, minimal exposures, to COVID in our facilities and our doctor's offices. You have to be seen. Uh, and in, in terms of surveillance procedures, tests, important tests, continuing cancer therapies, this should be a benefit risk discussion with your physician so that we acknowledge your, your concerns, we answer all the questions we can, and we hopefully provide some reassurance of what we're doing so that we reach a mutual informed decision that's best for your health during the pandemic.